Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy Deke back with another vid and this time it's not Madden. I'm gonna do another tier list. This one isn't uh, specific to Steelers. This one's just gonna be around the league. So me and Moats did on our most recent podcast, we did our top 10 quarterbacks. So if you wanna check that out, go there. This is gonna be a quarterback tier list, one to 32. Cause I mentioned in the podcast, I was like, these guys we have in our top 10, I think there's a tier of a certain amount versus the bottom tier and then we started just spitballing some of the guys we would have in the mid tiers and etc etc so I wanted to do like a definitive tier list um, for myself 1 through 32 all of the NFL starting quarterbacks and yeah you know how it works S through D S the best tier D is the worst so our first guy here um, this is all going to be random too this isn't the ranking if you want to check out the top 10 ranking go to the podcast Arthur Mo's channel. Uh, I'll put the the link in the description. Um, but this is just going to be tiers. This is no particular order. It's going to be randomized. So that's just a heads up as well. All right. So first we have Joe Burrow. I'm putting Joe Burrow in C tier. Um, we just got to see him play. There's no reason to put him in D tier. He had one of the best uh, college quarterback seasons of all time. A lot of potential there. We just got to see him play. So if we're going to Go through C tier though, I think he is on the lower end. I think some of the other guys that I'm going to have in C tier here um, are going to be above Burrow just because one, he hasn't played and he's going to be a rookie coming into this season, um, tough division, etc, etc. And next we have Josh Allen. I'm putting Josh Allen in B tier. He had a really good season last year, definitely took a step up from his rookie season. The question is, is he a franchise guy? I lean towards no. I've said it on the podcast multiple times, but the upside is undeniable, the arm strength, all that type of stuff. So Josh Allen is in B tier for me. Next, we have Aaron Rodgers. I'm putting him in S tier. Even on a down year, he had an incredible touchdown interception ratio. Was still one of the top quarterbacks in the league. And as you'll see with the guys in S tier that I have, I think there's a clear, all right, these guys are the best. These guys are franchise guys. These guys can take over games. So I think Rodgers is still in that category. Sam Darnold. I'm putting Darnold in C tier. Nothing about his career has warned putting him in D tier. There's just nothing as well to put him in B or above. I think Josh Allen is a step above uh, Sam Darnold, especially based off both of their last years. Darnold does have potential though. We'll see if he can improve in this upcoming year and get himself to B tier or above. Next, we have the Miami starting quarterback. I'm putting them in C tier. If it was Fitzpatrick, I would put him in C tier. If it was Tua, I'd put him in C tier as well. So Either or, I think Tua, same reasons as Burrow, rookie coming into this year, no reason to put him in D, but no reason to put him in C or above just because we haven't seen him play. And then Fitzpatrick, I think in C tier just because he can win you a game just out of nowhere. He's got that type of potential. Um, but also at the same time, uh, there, there have been points in his career, we all know about this, the Fitz magic wears off where he'll have multiple interception games. And almost completely lose your game. Although last year, he did really good last year. Just like as a solid game manager. So based off last year, you could maybe put him in B. But for his overall career and kind of what we know who Fitzpatrick is, I think C is appropriate. So Miami starting quarterback, C tier. Next, we have Baker Mayfield. I'm putting Baker in C tier. His strong rookie season probably would have put him in B. But definitely took a step back last year. We'll see if he can improve. Um or actually more or less go back to what his rookie season was. I think his surrounding talent for his offense is top three or top five in the league. So I think Baker will bounce back a little bit this year and maybe get himself into that B tier class. Next, we got number seven, Big Ben, easily S tier. Uh, same tier as Rodgers, same tier as all these other guys that I'll be putting up in that S franchise guy um, and like I said if you want to check out where I got Ben and all these other guys in the S and A tier in terms of ranking go ahead check out the podcast Mitch Trubisky I'm putting Trubisky in D tier now uh, I probably could have done a split like I did with the Miami quarterback with him and Foles Foles I'd probably put in low C tier but I'm just going to assume it's going to be Trubisky right off the bat um, but if it's going to be fools, like I said, I put low C tier. Trubisky looked like he was going to take a step after his second year, but last year was just pretty bad for him. So it's D tier. We'll see if he gets the starting job. He'll go back to more to what he was doing in his second year, which is more in the C slash B tier range. But yeah, um, I think Trubisky's in D tier. Nothing personal, just how last year went for him and 
how he ranks amongst all the other quarterbacks. And next we have Lamar Jackson. I'm putting Lamar in S tier easily. MVP last season. Uh, Ravens franchise guy. The thing with him is just, hey, can you keep improving on it? But right now he's in S tier. So improving would just keep you in S tier and get you in a higher ranking in the S tier. So yeah, Lamar Jackson, S. And next we have another S tier. Patrick Mahomes, no explanation for this one. That's easy. Um, Derek Carr. I'm putting Derek Carr in C tier. I just don't think he has some of the upside as the guys in B tier. I think in past seasons he has been in B tier, but right now C tier, he definitely could find his way into B tier if he kind of replicates last season or just improves a little bit just because he... I, I go back and forth with this one just because he hasn't done anything like that's that bad. He has a really good completion percentage. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Just in terms of upside, he's not there in that B tier range. We'll see if he can uh, improve a little bit next year. I think that would get him in B tier because right now I do think it is close. And next we have Carson Wentz. I'm putting him in A tier. He is in my top 10. He's just not on that S tier level that bona fide franchise guy. He is the Eagles franchise quarterback. What I mean is we need like a playoff moment. We need a postseason run. We need just a little bit something extra from Wentz. Uh, right now he is in my top 10, but A tier is I think appropriate for him. Next we have Tyrod Taylor. Uh, I'm putting Taylor in C tier. I'd put him on the lower end C tier than some of these other guys. I think your upside is capped with him. As your starting quarterback, at the same time, I don't think he's done. He's going to do anything or has done anything in the past that you're going to say, oh man, he's in D tier. So, yep, Tyrod Taylor, C tier for me. Next, Drew Brees, S tier, even in the late stages of his career, is putting up crazy numbers. Had probably one of his better seasons during the regular season last year, even with the injury. His TD interception ratio was crazy. Um, so, yeah, Drew Brees is S tier. I don't care about his age. Next, we have Tannehill. I'm putting Tannehill in B tier, him and Josh Allen. Um, I think most of his career has been C tier, but based off his last season, he definitely took a step up. So he's in B tier from now, whether or not he's going to take a step down into C tier. I probably lean to more towards that way, but right now, Tannehill's in B tier. Next, Cam Newton. I got him in the A tier range. Um, MVP in 2015. His 2018 season was actually pretty solid as well. 66 completion percentage was just hurt last year. Now he's going to be with the Patriots in Belichick system. So I'm going to have him in A tier. I think he's going to do really well with the Patriots and in that system. And I think throughout his career, you know, he's been carrying a Panthers team that has not had much talent around him. So Cam, A tier for me. Next, we have Tom Brady. Tom Brady is S tier. It's Tom Brady. I think he's going to have an awesome year with the Bucks. And I was saying it all last year. I still thought he was a top five quarterback, despite everyone ripping on him, saying that he took a step back. His numbers weren't that bad. And I think for each stage in life, each stage in career for the Patriots, their organization, their offense, and then Tom Brady, it just wasn't really much of a match anymore, which is why I, st I think Cam Newton's going to have success. But I think Tom Brady is going to have more success on another team kind of orchestrating things himself. So Brady is S tier, no doubt about it. Next, we have Jimmy G. I'm putting Jimmy G in B tier. Um, he's done a little bit more than those guys in C tier in terms of the playoffs and that playoff run that he had. I know that he didn't have the most gaudy of numbers. He didn't really need to, but still led a team to the Super Bowl. That's something that none of these guys in C tier can say. So yeah, I'm putting Jimmy G in B tier. Now, when you want to rank him against a and S tier, that's that's another story. But I think B tier is good for Jimmy G. And next we have Kyler Murray. I'm putting Kyler Murray in B tier. Um, solid rookie season, rookie of the year. The question is, is he going to take that next step into A tier? Um, maybe some playoff success, maybe leading the Cardinals to the playoffs. There's kind of certain check marks that he's going to have to hit to get into that A tier status. I do think the potential is there. I do think he's probably going to hit it this year with how the offenses with how they brought in Hopkins and then just making that second year leap from rookie to sophomore season. So Kyler Murray's in B tier though right now. Next we have Matt Stafford. I'm putting Stafford in A tier. Had an incredible, like a really good season until he got hurt last year. He was leading the Lions. Not the most help around him over these past couple years after Calvin Johnson got hurt. Hasn't really even had a running back there in how long. 
Um, just a, a rough organization, but he's been a bright spot for them over the years. Still hasn't taken that next step to get into S tier, or I would even say high A tier, but I think he is solidly in that A tier status. We'll see if he could build off what he was doing last season. And next we have Matt Ryan. I'm putting him in A tier. Um, had an MVP a few years back. He's going to throw for 4,500 yards, 25 plus touchdowns every year. One of the top 11 or 12 guys, I just think. There's a break between him and S tier. You could see some of these other guys and what they've accomplished compared to him. Now, if you want to go back into 2016 when he won an MVP, yeah, I'd probably put him in S tier. But I think most of his career has been A tier. And then based off last season and, and a couple of these recent seasons, he's in A tier. Next, we have Dak Prescott. I'm putting Dak in A tier. The body of work has been pretty solid throughout his career. The real question is, is should he be your long-term franchise quarterback for the price that he's asking for? I lean no towards that, but in terms of just his quarterback play, what he's done throughout his career, what I think he's going to do this year, you know, I think A tier. I think he's, you know, top 13 or 14. I've been saying that on the podcast. There's no reason to not have him in A tier. I think his body of work is a lot better, not a lot, but better than some of these guys that are in B tier. And B tier's got to show the consistency that Dak has to move up to that A tier. So yeah, I think Dak and A tier, no question. Next we have Kirk Cousins. Oh man, this one's tough. If a lot of people would probably say he should be an A tier. Man, I'm going to put him in B, but he's probably the highest of the B tier because I think he's done enough throughout his career where you feel good and say, all right, he's you know a top 15 guy at the same time. I don't think he has the upside of Dak. That's that's probably like the point. It's Dak and, and Kirk Cousins. Dak on the, on the low A tier for me, and then Cousins at the high B tier. So that's kind of my breaking point. I would just take Dak over Cousins. I think they're, they've shown almost like the same amount of production. I think Dak may be a little bit better, but then Dak still has more upside in my opinion. Whereas with Cousins, I kind of think we know where he's at as a quarterback. I don't think there's much more upside with him. Next, we have Goff. I'm putting him in B tier. Took a step back last year. The two seasons prior, I would have put him in A, but then he also had a rough rookie season. So with Goff, it's just like, all right, who is Goff? Are we going to get the A tier golf that we have seen, or are we going to get more of what we've seen last season, which is like lower B tier status in my opinion. So um, let's see what happens with him this upcoming year. I think B is good for now. Definitely A tier potential though. Next we have Daniel Jones. I'm putting Danny Dimes in B tier. I think he's had a solid rookie season. I think the potential's there um, just overall as a prospect. And I think he proved that he could definitely play at a at a pretty good level in the NFL. So Danny Dimes is in B tier for me. Next we have Minshew. I'm putting Minshew in C tier. Solid rookie season. Definitely exceeded expectations. Kind of came out of nowhere. The question is, can you provide consistency? Can you prove that you could be the Jaguars starting quarterback for the next three to four years? So Minshew in C tier for me. Next, Drew Locke. Same, pretty much the same thing as Minshew. I think he probably showed more upside with the Broncos last year. But it's the same thing. You know, it was, what, a five or six game sample size from him last year. And he definitely proved that he can he can play in the NFL. It's just, hey, can you show that you could be the Broncos starting quarterback, provide consistency over the next however many years for the Broncos? Because we see it all the time with quarterbacks in the NFL. You, you have a great season. You have a great run. But it's the consistency that matters. Probably has more potential than Minshew, but we'll kind of see with both of their careers what happens. Russell Wilson, easily S tier. I don't know if we really need an explanation for that. Had an MVP-like season last year. You talk about consistency. It's Russell Wilson, Super Bowl championship. You know he's going to be clutch, bring your team back, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Russell Wilson, S-tier, easily. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater, C-tier. Um, let's see what he can do with the Panthers. He had a really good run with the Saints. Uh, his Vikings years, I don't think that were like that crazy good. I know he made a Pro Bowl, but I think that was more or less because so many people backed out of the Pro Bowl. Um, so yeah, we'll see what he does with, uh, with the Panthers. I think he's been more or less a C-tier quarterback throughout his career with the Vikings, but we'll see what happens as he becomes the Panthers starting quarterback and tries to become their franchise guy. Next, I got Deshaun Watson. I'm putting him in A-tier. I think he's right with all these guys, Wentz, Newton, Stafford, Ryan, Prescott. I think he's just got to take it up a notch to go into S-tier, either 
have a crazy regular season and like get an MVP type of season or go deep in the playoffs and have some awesome playoff moments. So right now, A tier for Deshaun Watson. Next, Dwayne Haskins. I'm putting Dwayne Haskins in D tier with Trubisky. Had a rough rookie season. We'll see what he does um, next year because we saw with uh, Jared Goff his rookie year. We've seen with many quarterbacks in their rookie seasons have a rough time but then bounce back the next year. It might take a little bit to click and I think that's all with Haskins. We'll see what he does in his upcoming season but based off his rookie year I got to put him in D tier for now. And next we have Phillip Rivers. This one's a tough one. I'm going back and forth between B and A. The argument for B is, you know, he definitely took a step back last year. A lot of picks. I'd say at the same time, he still threw for over 4,600 yards. And I'd go more or less based off the body of work. If he's healthy, then there's no reason he's not an A tier because I think he's going to have a better situation up in Indianapolis. And if you just look two years prior in 2018, there was legit arguments that people were putting him in the top six or seven. So I think A tier for Phillip Rivers because I would definitely put him over Cousins. Um, yeah, that's about it for my tier list. It's pretty pretty evened out here actually um, from S all the way to C and then we got two players in the D tier. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed my quarterback tier list. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, what you agree, disagree with. And if you want to see the top 10 rankings, check it out on Moats' channel. But other than that, um, stay chillin' and peace.